Hi there, welcome to Two Birds. I'm Fiona and welcome back if you've practiced with me before. Today's class is a 45 minute heart opening vinyasa class in nature. I'm shooting today amongst the pine trees above our beautiful Shoreham Ocean Beach on the Mornington Peninsula. And on class today we'll be focusing on mobilizing the shoulders and restoring range of motion as well as opening the chest and strengthening and toning the back muscles and all you'll need for practice is a blanket as well as a yoga strap or something similar and if you are enjoying the classes and you'd like to support me creating and posting each week on YouTube I am on patreon and all the details are in the description below Thanks so much for joining. Enjoy the view, enjoy the class. Namaste. And begin your practice rolling your blanket into the shape of a sausage and laying it across your mat. We're gonna come down to rest on our backs and position the very base of your shoulder blade tips over the blanket. And as you rest down, you should feel a mild, comfortable elevation to your chest. Your legs can be outstretched long or take your feet to the side edges of your mat and invite your knees to knock in toward one another. Your arms can open to the side. And just relaxing your body's weight down, take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Just feeling the lift of your heart space. An ease in your face and your jaw. Place your awareness on your physical body now. Just cultivate a feeling of gratitude for your current health and vitality. And even if you're currently supporting an injury or a health issue, just focus on appreciating the good bits, the working parts, the simple ability to practice today. Breathing in and breathing out. Now, whatever your legs are doing, just switch them out. If they're bent, straighten them out. If they're extended, bend and knock the knees. Let's take three more cycles of breath together. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Take another cycle of breath. And then taking your feet to the floor, carefully roll out to your side and make your way into a comfortable seated position. And you may wish to kneel or cross your legs. You can use the blanket under your sit bones for support. And when you arrive, just take the fingertips down by your side, lift tall through your spine, grow long. And we'll start by warming, mobilizing the shoulders. Breathing in, sweep your arms overhead, press your palms. Exhale, lower your prayer hands to your heart. Interlace your fingers. Turn the hands inside out, press the palms forward. Rounding your spine, drop your head toward your heart. And on your inhale, send the arms overhead. On your exhale, cactus your arms. Drawing your inner elbows back, your upper back muscles engaged. Take a breath in. On your exhale, bring your forearms together and turn the palms toward your face. On your in-breath, widen your upper back. And on your exhale, draw the palms away from one another to make a V-shape. On your inhale, close the forearms together. And on an exhale, cactus the arms. Twice more, breathe in, arms in cactus, exhale, forearms to touch. Look at your palms, spread the fingers. 
Inhale, draw a V with your forearms. Exhale, bring the forearms back to touch. Inhale, cactus your arms. And one more time, forearms together. Make a V with your forearms. Forearms touch. And on your inhale, cactus your arms. Stay for your exhale there. Next in breath, reach your arms overhead and we'll take a lateral stretch on your exhale. Take your right hand to the floor and reach your left arm up and over. Breathe a smooth breath in, reach. Exhale, tip a little deeper. Breathe in, ease off just a little, find more space. And then exhale. On your inhale, bring your arms back up overhead and we'll take it over to the other side. Left hand down, right arm up and overhead. Take a few breaths. Inhale your arms overhead. And on your exhale, take your hands to the floor. We're going to make our way into tabletop position. Spreading through your fingers and place your knees under the hips. On an inhale, just soften your belly toward the floor, arch the spine, gaze up. And on your exhale, round your spine and then we're going to barrel roll the spine to the left and circle. Softening the belly, leaning out into the ribs, back to centre. Inhale, arch the spine. Exhale, dome the spine, barrel roll to your right, leaning out into the side waist and circle. Once more, each way, arching, rounding, circle to your left. And then arching, rounding and circle to your right. Return to your neutral spine and take your forearms to the floor. From here, we're going to bend the elbows so the hands lift and then slip the elbows forward a little. Take your hands to prayer. So from this position, your hips are over the knees and you're going to press the finger pads together and separate the palms. You're going to stay here for three full cycles of breath. And with the hands in this orientation and the pressing of the fingers together, we create a little bit more external rotation in the forearms, the upper arms. It's a really helpful preparation for warming, opening through the shoulders. On your exhale, just release onto your forearms. We're going to make our way down onto the belly. So keep your right elbow at 90 degrees. And then take the right elbow out to the side and up a little toward the front of your mat. So your right elbow is a few degrees forward of the shoulder. And from here, just using your left palm on the floor, carefully roll onto your right hip. So just being intuitive how you manage the shape in your own body, easing off if it feels too intense. You can also add on by stepping the left foot to the floor behind you for more sensation. Just pause here, press actively into your right palm and that'll just help keep the anterior shoulder muscles engaged while you're lengthening through the front of your shoulder. Take one more deep breath in and release, roll back onto your belly and now take your left forearm parallel with the top of your mat and we'll move into half bow. So just bending your right knee now, reach back with your right hand and catch a hold of your foot. If you're unable to make that connection, that's okay. Just reaching back in that direction with that intention. And if you have a hold, just gently pressing your foot into your hand. You can feel the muscles through the front and the back of your right hip. Take a deep breath in. And on your out breath, release. 
Returning to your shoulder stretch on the left now, left elbow bends and then take the left elbow a little forward, higher than your shoulder and then when you're ready rolling onto your left hip. Adjust and modify if you need to there, take full, three full cycles of breath. Pressing into your left palm to create that stability in your shoulder. Releasing back onto your belly. Final static stretch before we start to flow. Half bow on your left. Right forearm comes forward parallel, top of the mat. Bend your left knee and reach back. Left hand for your left foot. Breathing in and breathing out. One more cycle of breath. and release. Slide the hands back by your ribs and just gently make your way into a child's pose, Balasana. Drift your buttocks back to your heels. And then when you're ready, transitioning into your first downward facing dog. And then hopefully you can feel a spaciousness across your upper back, chest and shoulders. Let's take the next few breaths to pedal and stretch out through the back seam of your legs. Any movement that feels good. And settling yourself towards stillness. Perhaps even keeping a little bend in your knees there. Just exaggerate and accentuate the length through your spine. And we'll flow now. Next breath in, ripple forward to a high pusher. On your exhale, you can bend your knees to send the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Do that twice more, way forward on your in breath. Downward facing dog on your out breath. Again, breathe your way forward, downward facing dog. Bending your knees now. Let's go ahead, walk your hands back to your feet at the back of your mat. When you arrive, take your hands to your shins, come up halfway, Ardha Uttanasana. And then on an exhale, bend the knees deeply, forward fold. On your inhale, rise slow, come to stand, reach your arms tall overhead and exhale, pre hands to your heart centre. Two half forward folds now with the shoulder stretch. On your inhale, reach the arms. On your exhale, swim the hands behind your back, interlace your fingers. Inhale, lift, puff your chest. On your exhale, bend the knees deeply and forward fold, just letting your arms float away from your back. Inhale, release your hands to your shins, Ardha Uttanasana. And then exhale, refold over the legs. Inhale, rise to stand, circle the arms overhead. And breathing out, pray hands to your heart. Once more, breathing in. Arms overhead. Exhale, hands behind your back and not the fingers. Breathe in, stay upright, lift your heart. Exhale, bend the knees and forward fold. On your inhale, hands to shins, halfway lift. Exhale, fold in. Looking to the top of the mat now, walk your hands forward and return to your downward facing dog. And just steady your shape, centre your left foot and on your inhale, raise your right leg up and back, down dog splits. Take a slow exhale and step up, top of the mat, low lunge, left knee softly down. Inhale, raise the arms, frame your ears. Stay for your exhale and firm your left sit bone forward. Inhale, reach a little taller. And on your exhale, interlace your fingers behind the back of your head. 
taking the elbows wide. From here, lean your head back into your hands, lift your chest, and feel for a little back bend. Keeping the hands interlaced, invert your palms, straighten your arms toward the ceiling. Take one more breath, brighten across your chest, and exhale, release the hands to the floor, coming into a simple twist. Keep the left hand on the mat, circle your right arm forward, up toward the ceiling, keep circling it, reaching it back, down, and come back to frame your front foot. Transitioning into warrior one, raise your left knee, seal your left heel down, then just sip a slow breath in to rise. Virabhadrasana one, three, breathe. On your exhale, hands behind your back, interweave all your fingers, staying upright, breathing in, lift your chest, firm your rear leg, and on your exhale, humble warrior, folding forward. You can come down halfway, hover above your front thigh, or you can drop your head toward your inner arch. Try and lift the front of your shoulders, and then fold a little deeper on your exhale. Pushing down through your front foot, breathe in, reach the arms back up, return warrior one, and then exhale, hands to your mat, and flow, stepping back to your plank pose, lower chaturanga, inhale, upward facing dog or cobra, exhale, belly strong, downward facing dog. And just settle and steady the rhythm of your breath. Left side now, on your inhale, reach your left leg up and back. Exhale, step up, pull your low lunge, right knee to the mat. Inhale, reach your arms. Stay for your exhale, right buttocks nice and firm. Inhale, reach a little taller. Exhale, interlace your fingers behind the back of your head. Inhale, puff your chest, find a mild back bend. Stay for your exhale. Keeping your hands interlaced, turn the palms up, straighten the arms toward the ceiling. Take one more breath. Exhale, circle the hands down to your mat for a twist. Right hand stays put on the mat. Circle the left arm forward and up, and then just keep circling. And then return your hand to frame out your left foot. Coming into warrior one, straighten the right leg, anchor your heel, rise up slow. Settle in, take three full breath. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Breathe out, one more. On your exhale, shoulders stretch, hands behind your back, interlace your fingers, breathe a full breath in. Open the chest, look up. Exhale, just follow your nose as you fold, humble warrior. Try and feel for an even pressure through the feet here. Back leg strong, keep the arch of your right foot bright. On your inhale, rising back up, release the arms, warrior one. Exhale, hands to the floor, step to plank. And this time lower all the way down to your belly. And then tee out your arms at shoulder height. Then bend the elbows into a goalpost shape. Palms face down. Then bend both knees and point the toes up toward the ceiling. From here, we'll use our exhales to lift into a skydiver shape. So just take a deep breath in on your belly. As you exhale, lift your chest, arms, your thighs, and then inhale, lower back down. Two more just like that. Exhale to lift. Inhale, lower. 
Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. And this time on your exhale, lift. Stay lifted. Try and bring your heels as close to your buttocks as you can. And if it's accessible, see if you can reach back, connect your hands to your ankles. Either point or flex the toes if you have that connection. Otherwise, just stay in that skydiver shape. If you have your feet, kick your feet now into your hands, find your bow pose, feel the collarbones spreading wide, shoulders opening, take one more breath in and release, making your way into a child's pose, take the knees wide so your chest can fall between your thighs as you rest back and down. Sending your breath wide across the dome of your back, letting your out breath fall into a soft belly. Take three more full breath. And returning in your own time to your downward facing dog. Raise your right leg up and back, down dog splits. On your exhale, stepping up for warrior two now. Take a long stride, rise up, arms wide. And settle in, three breath. Breathe in, breathe out. Steady, calibrated breath. Next, in breath, straighten your legs, reach your arms up, overhead, gaze up. Exhale, return to your warrior two. Again, just following the breath rhythm, eyes up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, warrior two. Keep the legs where they are now. Reach the arms overhead, interlace your fingers, turn your palms up. And on your inhale, reverse your warrior. And then exhale, release your hands to your mat. Step back to a plank pose, pause there. Take a deliberate breath out there so you feel your low belly compact and we'll move into right side, Vashistasana, side plank. Two straight legs, heels to your right or modify here, right knee to the floor. And if you're feeling strong, you can raise your left leg. And if you're feeling stable, partridge pose, bending your left heel toward your buttocks. Reach your left hand for your left foot, opening through the front of your chest, perhaps your throat as you send your skull back. and then release. You can flow here, take a vinyasa or take rest. Downward facing dog on your exhale. Second side, left leg rises on your inhale. Exhale, softly step up, warrior two. Take a few moments to steady your posture, just placing yourself so you feel open, grounded. Let your hips relax down, crown of your head to float up so there's that natural space that grows in your torso. And then we'll flow, breathe in, sweep the arms up, straighten your legs, look up, spot the thumbs. Exhale, warrior two, re-bend. Inhale, eyes up. Big straight. Exhale, warrior two. One more, inhale, pressing into your feet. Exhale, warrior two. Keep the legs where they are, send the arms overhead. Interlace your fingers, turn the palms up, grow long. And then on your inhale, reverse your warrior, big side stretch. Exhale, hands to the floor and step back to your plank pose, pause there, 
firm through your belly, shifting into the left side, Vashistasana, your version. So left knee can touch down for balance and support here. And if you're feeling steady, right leg can lift. Try and stabilize your left shoulder blade in. And if you're feeling like a challenge, partridge pose, right heel to your glutes, right hand to your right foot. Release and flow or take rest. Downward facing dog on your exhale. Rest coming up. On your inhale, gaze forward. End of your exhale, travel lightly to the top of your mat. Setting your feet up, hips width apart for gorilla arms. It's offering a release for your wrists. So sliding the palms under the soles of your feet. Feel free to bend your knees here as much as you need to, to wriggle the toes up toward your wrist creases. And then just lightly dropping your weight forward, same time lifting the palms up against the resistance of your feet. Let's take a few breaths here. Relax your head heavy so there's just a nice soft energy around the back of your skull, your neck, your face. And then stepping off your hands now, grabbing your yoga belt or similar. And take a slow roll up through your spine to stand. From here we're going to move into dancer's pose with our belts. You're going to take the strap like a skipping rope in both hands and let it dangle in front of you. And then step into the strap with your right foot. Then cross the strap, re-grip with your hands. Open the strap, so create a V and then step through with your left foot. So left leg, left foot's going to be your balancing leg, spreading your toes, grounding into your left foot. Then start to take your right leg back behind you, turn your palms up. And then start to bring your hands behind your head. Walking your hands down the strap any amount. You're lifting your chest here. Kicking into the strap. Perhaps exploring a little bend in your standing leg. So your pelvis can tilt. You can firm your abdominal core. Make contact with your breath. And then slowly release with control, bring the knees together and then stepping your right foot down to the floor, give your legs a shake and we'll switch. Just dangle the belt in front of you and step your left foot into the strap, cross the strap, switch your grip. Open the strap wide, step the right foot through now, your standing leg. And then when you feel ready, slowly start to take the left leg behind you. Keep kicking the belt as you walk your hands down your strap toward your foot. Take a few slow, steady breaths. And release with control. Two feet to the floor, shake the legs and pop the belt off to one side. And just toe healing your feet wide now, turning your toes down. We'll transition through squat, Malasana, to take a seat. Breathing in, circle your arms over here, press your palms. And exhale, just gently lower hands through prayer into your version of Malasana. 
might like to pause there for a couple of breaths if it's sensitive for your knees just making your way onto your buttocks we'll all meet up there reclining down onto your back from here bending your knees placing your feet comfortably wide and parallel and then nudge your heels in toward your buttocks setting up for two rounds of bridge pose or option to take wheel pose Urdhva Janurasana if that's in your practice and before you lift up know that you always have the opportunity to explore what feels best in your body so you might like to try taking your feet wider if back bends are always a bit of a challenge for you you can also explore lifting the heels when you arrive in your bridge or your wheel you can even support yourself with a block if it offers you more space more access to engage the muscles of your back just move and arrange yourself accordingly so we're going to take the next 10 breath and two back bends of your choice to explore what suits your body using your exhale to lift into your back bend and then just continuing to breathe, count your breath out, smooth and slow. Five breaths. Might come down for a rest in between. And then go back up into your vision of bridge or wheel and then releasing down if you haven't already land softly take a moment to feel your body's weight then just letting a long slow out breath pour into your low back as you hug the knees in toward your chest take a rock side to side and we have about seven minutes of practice together before shavasana and so from here you may wish to cool down with happy baby recline twist and a final forward fold which i'll lead you through alternatively our practice today is really open prepared the shoulders for an inversion so if you'd like to practice forearm stand shoulder stand or head stand and that's regularly in your practice just moving into one of those shapes now if you're following along with me coming into happy baby pose hold on to the outer edges of your feet soles of the feet look like they're holding the ceiling up and then just aim and mush your low back into the mat you feel free to hold the back of your knees as an alternative or even raise your head if it suits you best just focus in on pressing the low back into the mat maybe taking a little rock side to side Yeah, and then we'll take our feet to the floor here if you're following along with me for a twist you can stack your knees or you might like to cross the right leg over your left leg then lift the buttocks and take the knees to your left be sure to shift the hips back a little to your right and just taking five smooth breaths And as you breathe out let the weight of your legs relax dissolving the effort through your shoulders and then we'll move over to the other side 
re-wrapping the legs or stacking the knees. Take five smooth breaths and if you're upside down, making your way down to the ground and making your way into your counter pose. So if you've been in a headstand or forearm stand, child's pose, if you've been in shoulder stand, a fish pose, Matsyasana, just opening through the front of your throat, your neck. And then we will all come back to center wherever you're at. We're going to roll out to one side, come into a forward fold now, Pashimottanasana. Extending your legs out straight. And you can elevate your seat here with a blanket if you wish. Reaching the arms when you're ready, find length through the side of the waist. And then taking the next 8 to 10 breath to fold out over your legs. And just keep that comfortable and soft. And then when you feel ready, grab any additional layers or props you may wish to have now. Reclining back in Shavasana, final rest pose. And we have the last seven minutes here together. Settling your body into the support beneath you. Shuffle out any restlessness and invite yourself to enter into a rhythm of restful alertness, quietening the body. And relaxing the muscles of your shoulders your arms, palms and fingers, dissolving your effort. And softening the front and back of your hips, the larger muscles in your legs, Trace your awareness all the way down your body, feeling your heels bearing down into the floor. Moving yourself towards stillness. And then letting your awareness settle at your heart space. Noticing the softening wave of your breath as your body relaxes. And just taking a moment to silently express your gratitude for your body for carrying you through your practice today.
And when we take time to pause and spend time with our body, our mind, our heart, it offers perspective. It's really the greater purpose of our practice. Beyond just taking a break, it creates this opportunity to consider more deeply the ways we spend our time and also to cultivate a feeling of gratitude for all the abundance that already exists in our lives. And finally, sending your gratitude to a person or pet in your life that fill you with joy. Think of the many ways they've touched your life. Look into their eyes, notice the colour of their eyes. Go back to your first memory of them. Now imagine your loved one is very happy wherever they are right now and sending them your love and gratitude. And rest now. And I'll be back to guide you back. And gently, softly, ease your awareness back. Breathe a deeper breath. And bring some movement to your body. And just bending your knees, taking your feet to the floor. And when you're ready, rolling out. To your right side, just take one last rest here, there's no rush. Eyes gently open and then just slowly drag your way back up to sit. Thanks so much for joining me for your practice today. I hope you're glowing on the inside, feeling open, able to approach the rest of your day with grace, compassion, for yourself and all beings. Namaste.